Hello, I'm uh, watching um, Mark Pesho's Own Holy Feminine. I will post the link of this uh, presentation below. But there was one part I think I got a different theory about what he is saying. He is saying like um, women are, a lot, at least a lot of them, are attracted to tall guys. And when he's looking at the statistics, it's only like 12% are that falling in that category of those sizes that women are attracted to. So he calls it like um, like social engineering, like a mind control. By doing that, you can control the, the world population to make it smaller because people are looking for things that is really rare and that way uh, relationships may not work, things like that. I guess you get the point of it. And besides, Mark Pesho explains that better than I do. But I have a different idea why it also could be possible. Because he said uh, that was kind of funny, the example like, uh, yeah, guys don't care so much about height. Uh, well, I do. <laughs> because I happen to be like the opposite. I uh, am really attracted to like, let's say, small, uh, cute, adorable looking girls, you could say. Um, that that and that's the reason why I have this theory is because I'm aware of myself that it's because I place my unconscious let's say inner child wounds that I have to abandon my inner child and I'm really desperate of uniting that with myself so what I unconsciously do is I project that on a girl that looks really cute and tiny and I'm not really, of, of, obviously I'm not 100% aware of that, that I do that, but when I see it, it's really like, oh, that's really attractive to me, and really like, oh, cute, and things like that. But my idea is maybe with women, it's it can be, I don't say it's only the, this reason, but it can be also that it's kind of like a childhood uh, wound they carry. And that is unconsciously kind of making them seek like their daddy as a protective figure. And as you can imagine when as your child you're really small and your dad is really big and tall and really powerful, invincible. From the perspective of a child it is, you cannot beat your dad, he's way taller, way stronger. So if you maybe have those childhood wounds inside of you in what shape or form it precisely needs to be that you are really attracted to it I'm not sure maybe that you feel that you need that figure in your life something something larger than life that can protect you anytime or something like that I have personally have not that <laughs> that childhood but maybe that, that is a thing to look into. So then, I, of course, again, uh, doing shadow work, uh, inner childhood trauma, uh, resolving that, can maybe be an awesome solution. But with that said, of course, I don't gonna claim there is no thing going on to control populations and things like that, because they definitely like to put their nose in somebody else's business and then I talk about government institutions and, and things they found like um, there are definitely some groups out there that are, and they are already open that they are not happy with the world population and they want to control it things like that so I'm totally not there to say that that's not a thing, but I, I wanted to put out this idea as well. Maybe it's interesting um, way to look at it. And that's why I also really believe in that uh, thing too. And that's also a thing Mark Pesho says himself, you need to do the inner work, he calls it, like, uh, like shadow work and all those things. Because you have a lot of things and that's holding you back. So... Um,
But that was just something I found uh, interesting to share, and maybe you do, maybe you not. Maybe you've never seen the the presentation. Then I would definitely recommend to watch it. It's really uh, interesting uh, to watch. So yeah, see you guys uh, next time.